Well, hello there, friends. Welcome to episode five of Making Games on Scratch Junior with me, Dr. Kelly. All right, let's get started. So, in the previous episodes, we made a jump game, bubble pop, get the basketball, Among Us, and we are finally at episode five where we're gonna make a maze. Ooh. If you haven't seen episodes 1 to 4, make sure to check those out first. And if you have seen all of them, let's dive into episode 5. Alright, well first of all, we're going to say goodbye to our Scratch Cat because we're going to be using different characters. In fact, we're going to be using the Among Us characters that we drew in episode 4. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out. And we're gonna use that with Pokemon characters! Ooh. If you haven't seen that, you should also check out the videos on the Odia YouTube channel on how to create that. And then... Um, we need some other characters, so maybe another Among Us, and then another one. Okay, so that's plenty. And now, I think they're a bit big though, so let's just use the shrink button on actually all of them. Mm -hmm. Shrink, shrink. So that they are a bit tinier. And um, in this game, the objective will be for um, one of the Among Us characters to try to rescue Pikachu. And while it is avoiding the other Among Us characters, okay? Since... Um, you could choose any of them, but I'm just gonna choose the yellow colored Among Us to save Pikachu. And then the other two Among Us will be the enemies in this game, in this maze. So, okay, we gotta draw the maze. So we're gonna draw it as a character. And we're going to do that by... Okay, let's see what color... How about, like, a green color? We don't have green being used yet. Okay, so let's just draw that and see if that works, first of all. Okay, so... Hmm, we can make it bigger. Um, okay, so that kind of works. Um, and then we could have all the characters inside here. Okay, I'll do that. And let's keep going, okay? So, um, let's see. We'll, we can just draw the maze whatever way you like, really. Um, but I'm just gonna maybe have this line here, another line here, another line here. Um, maybe we'll like make a way like this and then we can just like keep imagining what would this maze look like where would pikachu be hiding um it's really time for your creativity to shine okay and then maybe i'll just make a wall here We don't need that piece. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna call this maze. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our maze, which is great. And then now we just need to move our characters. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to move them. Okay. So let's bring these guys outside of the maze first so we can place them. So let's put the maze right here. And then I'm gonna put Pikachu mm, maybe here. And 
are among us character that is saving Pikachu will start here and we'll have maybe mm, one enemy among us here and then um maybe um I don't know where should we put it maybe we'll put it here another here okay and um we gotta get these enemy among us to patrol right so let's see so for this orange among us let's make it go up and down up and down okay so when the green flag is clicked we want it to go up how many times hmm well we can use this grid tool actually to help us to see how many we want to go up so um in the beginning we're starting at 3 by 18 um and maybe we want to go all the way up to like 10 okay maybe something like that you can just play around with the numbers and see what works okay and then what if we go down again by seven what would happen oops we have to start here go up and down up and down up down okay that's good let's make it do that forever but um let's make it pause in the middle um maybe i'll pause again here but we can change the number to maybe something like that so now it goes up and then it goes down up and then down okay so there's one uh, among us patrolling and let's have this among us go maybe it'll go left and then down left and then down how would we do that so we will say okay when green flag is clicked mm, let's make you go left how about four steps okay um and then you're gonna go back four steps and then you're gonna go down maybe like seven steps and then Oh, maybe not seven, maybe like five steps and then, oops, and then go back up by five steps. And then let's see, goes that way, this way, down and okay. I think it could be, it could be six instead of five. Go this way, this way, down, up. Okay, that's great. And I wanted to move kind of in an unexpected way so maybe it'll walk first and then maybe in the middle it'll kind of run and then it will walk again and then we'll do that forever so let's see what hap what's happening with the patrol among us okay so that's cool okay Ooh, this one's hard this among us it's moving in a very interesting way okay perfect so now we gotta code our yellow among us and help it to move so that it can rescue pikachu now in order to do that we're gonna do something really cool we're gonna create these arrows that will tell this among us how to move so we need a couple more characters here we're gonna create an up left right and down arrow okay so let's go create a character and we're going to do this really easily okay um let's just choose like a really um cool color okay like like blue for example and then this one is gonna go up okay let's just call this Okay, we've got the up and then um, we need another one. So we select the same one and then the paintbrush. And then you're going to use this rotate tool to rotate it. And this is going to be right. 
And then you can do this again, create another character, select the right button, and then you can go down. Yep. And then you can call this down. Okay. And then we're gonna create another character. Cl click on down, paintbrush, and rotate it again. And this time, this is gonna be left. Okay, so we have all of our arrows. They just need to be resized a little bit. Okay, let's get rid of this grid for now. And take these and let's shrink them. Okay, let's... One, two, three... I think that's good. Let's do it three times, okay? So we have our up arrow. And then where's our down arrow? Here it is. Down. Shrink that. One, two, three... Three times. Okay, up and down. And then left and right. Okay, so we've got left. Shrink that. One, two, three. Okay, and then the right arrow. One, two, three. Okay, great. So, here we are. We've got what up, down, left, and right. Okay. Yep, these are the different ways of how to move our character. All right, so how are we, how are we going to connect these up, down, left, right, um, these characters with a yellow among us? Well, I'm glad you asked. So we're going to say, okay, clicking on the up arrow. Okay, up arrow. When you have been clicked, you are going to send this orange message. Okay? And then let's go to our yellow among us. And we're going to say, hey, yellow among us, when you receive an orange message, you're going to move up. Okay? So the up arrow is giving a message to the yellow among us. And when the orange message is opened, the yellow among us will move up. Next, when the right arrow is clicked it's gonna send a red message and then when this among us opens a red message it's gonna move to the right and we're going to do pretty much the same thing but with different message blocks for damn and and then left so this down arrow is gonna send a yellow message and when the yellow among us receives a yellow message, it's going to move to the left. Oh, sorry. This one should be down. Because this is down. And then for the left arrow, when you click on the left arrow, we want to send a green message. And when the yellow among us gets a green message, we want the yellow among us to move to the left. And okay, let's see how this works. See? Okay, up, down works. Left, right. So the among us can go down and then right and down and up. And awesome, so it's working really well, except it's going through the wall of this maze, which is no good. And nothing happens when it bumps into the patrolling among us. Okay, so let's code that part now. So, okay, we're gonna say... Hmm, okay, let's go to the maze. Where is the maze? Okay, we're gonna say, hey maze! If something bumps into you, can you basically... Um, actually, uh, here's a better way, an easier way. Let's just go to the yellow among us and say, Hey, yellow among us, if you bump into anything, you're gonna go back home or where you started right here. So let's try that. Okay, let's go right... Bump! Oh! 
you get sent to where you started, okay? Okay, let's try to avoid the walls. And what if we bump into a patrolling among us? Ah! Okay, you get sent back. Okay, great. So now we just have to code the part where this Among Us, when it touches Pikachu, we go to the next page, which says something like, You won! Yay! Okay, so let's create the scene first. You won! And how about we just use the beach day scene? And we've got Scratch Cat saying, You won! And that's really lovely. Um, so then, let's go back here. And then we'll say, Hey, Pikachu, if something bumps into you, let's go to the second scene. And there you have it. That's basically our maze game. So let's test that again. Make this screen big. And here we go. La la la. Okay, let's... Go quickly! Go down! Ah! <laughs> well, we'll have to win this game to see the next game. I mean, the next scene if we can! Okay, I made it here, I made it here. Oh! I can't! I can't do this, guys! Okay, go down, go down. Oh! Oh, no! Okay, guys, I don't know if I can win this game. But we're basically done here. So if you guys make this game and you win, please let me know. Because this is not an easy game at all to win. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode of me showing you how to make a maze game on Scratch Jr. If you like this video, don't forget to like, like it and subscribe to this Otia YouTube channel. Check out our other amazing tutorials, lessons, and songs. And until next time, this is Dr. Kali signing off. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.